Super Detox Oil Massage. Hi, this is Jovanka from JovankaCiaras.com and today I have a super treat. It is actually a detox massage. It's an oil massage that you do yourself to yourself. It is called an Abhyanga massage and it is very, very popular in Ayurveda, the science of life and health of India. So people in uh, Southeast Asia have been doing Abhyanga for hundreds if not thousands of years and it is incredibly detoxifying it helps you kind of push around the fat around your body where all the toxicity and pollutants kind of live and help you push that out uh, using that massage and pushing that into your elimination organs and your liver your kidneys uh, your large intestine so that you can push all those toxins out so I just wanted to show you how to do this massage because it's really really yummy it's also a great idea for when you need to give yourself a little bit of love and you might not have the budget to go spend $100, $150 on a massage you can do that yourself do something amazing for yourself and feel great so here it is hi it's Javanka here and I'm here to demonstrate the self-love massage or the Abhyanga massage Abhyanga is one of the many techniques that Ayurveda uses Ayurveda being the Eastern medicine of India and Southeast Asia people have been practicing Abhyanga for thousands of years using different kinds of oils for different body types help and help with all kinds of different stuff I mean Abhyanga is amazing to help you detoxify the body to remove impurities from your organs to lubricate your joints it helps you revitalize you it actually is energizing you but oddly enough it also helps you sleep a little bit better and it helps with a lot of other things with digestion with elimination it is really an amazing amazing thing the reason why I love it the most is because to me it's a self-love massage it's a way to get to know your body once again and get in touch with the parts of your body that you might be smack talking for a very long time especially us ladies who may be a little overweight and you just feel like we are not exactly where we need to be so Abhyanga is just really an amazing I love the name that's why I keep repeating it um, it's really it really uses all kinds of different oils the people in India use a dif different oil depending on the on the body types if you have the kind of body that needs a lot of energizing or warming oil they use a type of oil and if you are the kind that needs a lot of cooling in your life then they'll use a different kind of oil to promote that stuff the idea being that you want to balance your body to restore health and longevity and vitality so I love you uh, starting my Abhyanga uh, in the morning. If you're doing it in the morning, you can do it also at the end of the day. Uh, but I do it early in the morning. And I start with dry brushing. Dry brushing is an amazing little technique using natural bristles and a brush with your, when your skin is still dry. And you're going to brush your skin in the direction of the heart so starting you actually actually you're supposed to start with your feet and the soles of your feet and you're supposed to you know brush every little bit of skin that you have in the direction of the heart and once you get to your chest you do it in the direction of the heart it is a great little exercise to stimulate your lymphatic system which is the broom of the body the one that is helping you remove impurities from your blood and pushing it into your digestive tract or elimination tracts so your body can eliminate it when your skin is dry it's a lot easier to remove dead cells once it's wet it becomes really elastic and it's a lot harder for dead cells to actually leave so you want to do this when your skin is still dry and it's really fun it stimulates circulation it just feels really awesome so you're done with this it shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes to finish with this dry brush and then you warm up the oil never warm oil in the microwave I warm it directly into a pot in the kitchen and once this oil is warm you can put it in a container and with the oil you want to start with your head and and your skin your face first so you want to massage the oil in circular motions all over your face and into your scalp and everywhere there is skin and then you want to massage your neck and your lymph nodes and all, every single one of your organs and how you massage it is you put some oil in your 
hands and then you start massaging the joints in circular motion and the long muscles in long ways, in long kind of like strokes all in the direction of the heart and once you get to your feet you do the exact, exact same thing you go up to your feet and then when you're in the center of your body and this is the best part about a bianga is that you're going to start um, using the circular motions in the middle of your torso uh, clockwise I think this is the way it's supposed to be and you want to massage your internal organs so you want to be a little bit forceful and go in there just to massage your, massage your liver and your intestines and all your little organs and you do it in your breasts you do it in your buttocks you do it everywhere there's skin and you give yourself time to think about just give thanks to the universe for the amazing blessing that is your body for the fact that this body is carrying you day in and day out and helping helping you live the best life you possibly can live. So you want to use little mantras and little affirmations and if you can find something beautiful and it could be something as simple as I am worthy of the very best in life and now I allow myself to accept it. As you massage every single part of your body you repeat the same or the same mantras or it could be a little prayer that you find from the Bible or from any of your self-help books and if you cannot find a mantra that you like you just simply use basic words like I love you I have energy I have vitality I have strength I am better I am good I am safe I am happy it's that simple so then you leave the oil on you you ideally need to be in the nude but obviously I'm not gonna be in the nude on TV so and you want to do this until every single one of your uh, body, uh, every, every piece of skin is covered in oil. It should be really rewarding, it's warm, it's really nurturing. And then you leave that oil on you for a few minutes. I leave it for about 20 minutes. That's the comfort zone that you may have to play with. You might have to do it just for a few minutes at first and then slowly work your way up there. And then once you go to the bathroom, you have to make sure that you use the same towel to remove excess of oil from your skin. Uh, so that because the oil, the, the towel will get really oily and it will be very hard to get that oil out of the towel. So you have one towel that you use all the time for the abianga. And then you go into the shower just to remove the excess of oils, but you don't put any soap on you. So you're going to wash off with water. Maybe you use the soap for the parts that need a little bit of washing and that stuff and the rest of it, you're gonna walk around with this beautiful oil already in you. And then you dry up and the skin should be really nice and and moist and smooth like a baby you're gonna love this massage I cannot wait to try it with you uh, on camera so that's Abianga for you all right so that's the massage for today did you like it are you willing to try it let me know by leaving a comment below I want to hear from you let's start a conversation make sure that you share this video with all of your friends all over the internet because why not it's fun so that they can also subscribe and get a lot of tips and a jolt of motivation for your healthy happy and beautiful beautiful life see you soon